with another tutorial. Um, today I decided to use this CoverGirl True Naked Golden's palette. Um, this has been sitting in one of my drawers for several months now and this is the first time that I'm using it. It's so pathetic and so sad. I just have so much makeup that it's like how do you get to appreciate it all, you know? So anyway, um, I am truly and genuinely very impressed with this palette. You get a couple different mattes in here, you get a couple different shimmers, and the color payoff is just beautiful. So I think this is a great drugstore palette. I will put the price down below because I don't know off the top of my head since it's been several months since I purchased it. Um, but yeah, with this palette, I just wanted to create like a sort of bronzy, dewy, smoky eye. Um, I wanted to give the eyes lots of dimension while still making it very easy and blown out. And then of course the skin to go along with it is very, you know, champagne poppy, prosecco poppy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this is definitely one of my absolute favorite summer makeup looks and it is a go-to for me. Um, like for example, I'm just going shopping right after this so I just wanted to throw some quick makeup on but I wanted to look put together and I wanted to feel beautiful so this is one of my favorite looks for that. Um, yeah, so with that being said, I think I'm going to stop rambling right now and we're going to jump into the tutorial. I'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips using this Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. I got this from Sephora forever ago and I'm just finally breaking into it. Um, so I'm starting there and then I'm going to apply some sunscreen. This is the Tarte Tarte Guard SPF 30 Broad Spectrum uh, Sunscreen Lotion. This is really thick um, so you really need to work it in. And I'm also going to make sure that I go over my eyes as well and my eye area because I just read somewhere that 97% of the aging around your eyes is caused by sun damage. So now now I'm going to be doing my little foundation cocktail, which is my Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, foundation in the shade 2C3 Fresco, and then also my Estee Lauder Day Wear BB Cream in the shade 1.5 Light Medium. And I'm just buffing that in all over the face with a Zoeva 104 buffer brush and making sure I get lots of coverage on my chin. I actually had an allergic reaction on my chin, so I was just getting over that little hump. Okay, and then for concealer around the eyes, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye full coverage anti-aging concealer, and this is the waterproof version. I've never tried the other one, um, and my shade is neutral medium, and yep, I'm just working this on my lid as well to prime that, and a little bit goes a long way. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. This is the liquid version, and it was just like a little mini that I picked up at the, you know, the line of doom at Sephora. So I'm just putting this on all the high points of my face to add a little bit of extra dew, and honestly, my first impression of this is like it's pretty but I would not purchase the full size of this I just don't think it does enough I think the estate edit um flash illuminator and morning light is like a lot more bam like wow in your face now to set my under eye area and then also wherever else I get really like oily or dewy throughout the day I'm using my be a bombshell cosmetic smooth criminal powder and my zoeva 105 luxe highlight brush I love this powder so much. I keep going back to it. It's the only thing that really, really controls my oil and keeps my mascara on my eyes and off my skin. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to set the rest of my face using this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral and a Zoeva Powder Brush. And then I'm going to use a little bit more powder because sometimes more is more and I just think this gives such a nice soft focus finish to the skin. I'm using my Hourglass Cosmetics Ambient Lighting Palette mixing all three shades and then just putting this all over the points where I put that Opal Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. To contour, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This came in a holiday kit like a year ago or maybe even more, a year and a half ago. Um, I'm still going strong with this. I love this. And I'm just using a 127 Lux Sheer Cheek Brush from Zoeva to apply this. So I'm just showing you one half of my face here, but I'm also contouring my nose with this brush as well. I'm just doing a light contour. I don't wanna go too overboard. I want it to look summery. For the brows, I've really been enjoying the Benefit Browsings. I am in the shade medium. I purchased this a couple of years ago when I first started getting into makeup and I, love it. Like it took me a while to get used to it, but I really do enjoy it. So first what I'm doing is I'm using a little angled 
brow brush from Zoeva. This is a 322 and I'm just dipping into the wax first. So I'm using just the light amount of wax and then coating my hairs to kind of put them in place, create a shape that I want. And, um, and then I'm also going to make sure I go through and comb that out with a spoolie. And then what you'll see next here is that I'm going to go in with the powder and just touch up any sparse areas you can see like above my brow right there, just creating a little bit more shape and then brushing through one more time and the brows are done. I find that this is really quick and it really does last all day. It's kind of like a budge proof version of doing your brows and it's really quick and simple. So now I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow marker in the shade medium and I'm dotting on some little freckles or moles or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going over the ones that I already have and then I decided, you know, I was feeling really wild and crazy so I created one new one <laughs> that doesn't actually exist in real life. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm using this CoverGirl True Naked Goldens palette, which is so pretty, and I'm going into this taupe shade first, fluffing that in the crease. You know how to do this. I'm using a Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush for this. And then I'm going into the deep brown shade at the end and a little like tapered blending brush from Zoeva and just putting this on the outer corners. I'm, you know, I'm not making it too precise, but I'm just keeping it on like maybe the outer fourth of my eye just so I can add a little bit of dimension and open up the eyes a little bit. And then I'm going into this like really pretty smooth coppery brown color and a flat shader brush. This is a cream shader brush from Zoeva 223. And I'm just pressing this all over the entire lid, including going over what we just laid down with the darker brown. And then I'm going in with a fluffy brush one more time to just fluff that out without any extra product on it just to make sure it's nice and blended. Okay, next I'm going into this sort of gold champagne color and I am using a little Sigma shader lid brush. This is an E56, I love this brush. I'm just popping this on the inner corner here. You could put a little bit of Fix Plus on your brush if you wanted to, I didn't really think I needed it. I just wanted something really simple and easy. So now for the lower lash line, I'm using the dark brown again and a Sigma waterline liner. This is an E17. Just putting this really, really close to the lashes and then I'm gonna buff that out using a Zoeva um, a Zoeva pencil brush back in with this like brown coppery kind of color and I'm stopping like right at the end of my iris like does that make sense you'll see when I like turn my head to the camera um, but I'm not bringing this all the way in I'm probably doing like three quarters of my eye this just sort of opens the outer part of the eye a little bit more. Then I'm going back in with this gold color and a smaller Zoeva, or no, not Zoeva, sorry, Sigma Shader Inner Corner Brush. This is an E46, and I'm just placing this on top of that brown color, but leaving some like underneath to peek through. This gives some dimension, dewiness, and like glow. I think that's really key to this look. And then lastly, I'm going into this like white gold color in the palette and just popping this on the inner corners with that same inner corner shader brush from Sigma. And then also putting that on the brow bone just a tad. I don't want to be too shiny. I'm already shiny everywhere else. Um, so now I'm going to just line my waterline using this Rimmel Scandalize Liner in the shade Nude. And I find that this one stays on a lot longer than the NYX Wonder Pencil. So I've been reaching for this one more. And then for the mascara, I was trying something new. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara in the shade Black Moon. You can see how spiky this brush is. It's kind of scary. And actually, I have to say, like, even though I love the result that this mascara gave my lashes, they look beautiful, I thought. And I love the separation and the flutteriness. It kind of, you know, it was spiky and pokey. And it did kind of poke at my at my waterline and my tongue. Line. So just be aware of that. If you have really sensitive eyes, then maybe this isn't for you. Okay, and then, you know, I got to go into my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Face Palette. And first, I am using the middle blush color. This is in the shade Amaretto. And this is a matte color. It's so pretty. It just gives you a nice, like, sun-kissed look. It goes with everything. And then I'm going to mix Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop on the cheekbone and then also above the brow as well. And then I'm also gonna go on the nose and <laughs> the cupid's bow. Just everywhere you wanna put this, I would just recommend putting a lot on because the more the merrier, let me tell you something. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this so much. Like I'm, I'm going to be so sad when I run out of Prosecco Pop. Okay. And then for the lips, I am going to line them using my Estee Edit by Estee Lauder, the barest contour lip liner in the shade in the flesh. And like I always do, and like I always say, I'm just sort of cheating the outer corners of my lip. Everything else I'm following the natural lip line. I just like to add a little bit of plumpness and fullness to the outside on the top lip. And then I'm using this new Tardist lip paint. I believe this is in the shade Namaste. Um, I really like this. This is so different from other like liquid lipstick. It like dries down to almost like a powdery texture, which is really cool because it's not drying at all and it wears off really nicely. And then since sunscreen is super duper important, I have been loving this Super Goop Sun Defying Sunscreen Oil with Meadow Foam. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 50, and I'm rubbing that into my chest and on my hands wherever I have exposed skin. And then going over top of that with a little bit of Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder, just spraying a couple squirts of that in my hand and then putting that on my chest for a little bit of a glow. And there you have it. That's my little summer glow look. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.